Hello, I'm Jared Colton, Build Manager for Sleep and Heavenly Peace, a nonprofit organization driven to get kids off the floor and into beds in our communities. This video shows how to assemble a Sleep and Heavenly Peace bunk bed that you may have received from our organization. The only tools you should need are a half inch socket wrench, a hammer, and perhaps a few helpful hands. We'll build the bottom bunk first, and then we'll assemble the top. Step one, assemble the bottom bunk. Before starting assembly, it's a good idea to run the lag bolts in and out of their positions to loosen them up. The wood will likely have shrunk slightly since they were first put in, and running the bolts through prior to assembly makes the bolts or wood less likely to break. You should have received four headboards, two for the top and two for the bottom beds. The bottom bunk headboards can be distinguished because they do not have the third lag bolt at the top. Set these headboards with the top lag bolts aside for now, as we'll focus on the bottom bunk assembly first. Place one of the bottom headboards with these holes pointed up. Next, you'll need a bed rail. It is a long 2 by 6 inch board with this thin rail along the inside. All four bed rails are identical and can be used interchangeably. Either have someone hold up one end of the bed rail or prop it up on a small box. We'll attach the other end to the bottom headboard with these two lag bolts. If you tighten the lag bolts through the headboard until just the tips are pointing through about a quarter inch, these will help you line it up with the pre-existing holes in the bed rail. Once lined up, hold firmly in place and using your half-inch socket wrench, tighten the two lag bolts until firmly in place. The heads of the bolts should be recessed slightly into the headboard, not hanging out. Be sure there is no gap between the headboard and the bed rail. Attach a second bed rail to the other side of the headboard in the same way. Be sure the slat rails on the bed rails are pointed inward toward each other. Now, attach the bed rails to the second bottom headboard in the same way. Next, simply insert four wooden dowels into the holes on top of the headboards, like so. They should be a little loose, and that's okay. Time to use those top headboards we set aside earlier. Note the holes on the bottom legs of the headboards that will line up onto the wooden dowels extending from the bottom headboards. Be careful not to pinch your fingers as you line them up. Push the top headboard solidly into place, leaving no space between the top and bottom headboard. Note, it will be a little loose right now, but we'll fix that shortly. Similar to the bottom bunk, align a bed rail to the headboard and secure into place using the two lag bolts with the half-inch socket wrench. Once the first rail is in place, push the final top headboard onto the bottom headboard on the other side. Then secure the bed rail as before. Move to the other side and secure the final bed rail to the headboards. Again, make sure you have the slat rails pointing inward toward each other. Next, we'll attach the rail guards. These top rail guards are unique to the top bunk and simply for safety and convenience. Again, screwing in the lag bolts until about a quarter inch of the bolt is visible on the inside of the headboard will help you line up the lag bolt with the pre-existing hole on the guardrail. Hold the rail guard securely, as it may have a tendency to spin the board as you tighten the lag bolt. Secure tightly into place, leaving no space between the headboard and the rail guard. Now, all that's left to do is slide the slats in, which will bridge the space on each bed between the slat rails. Each bed should have six slats to support the mattress. These slats may be a little tight, but can usually be secured into place with a little pressure or perhaps using a hammer, lightly tapping on the ends. Once the slats are in place and evenly separated, slide the mattresses onto the beds and make the bed with sheets, blankets, and pillows. We hope this video has been helpful. We take our goal to heart. No kid sleeps on the floor in our town.
If you're having trouble with the assembly of the bed, don't hesitate to contact us. We'd be glad to help out. Thank you.